Is it just me or are you guys also tired of making to-do lists and writing down notes and this endless bottomless pit of tasks that never seem to end? Or you get to the end of the day and then you're like, honestly, I thought I'd get a lot more done. Chances are you're probably making the same mistakes that I did, but I'm here to tell you that ever since I started tweaking these few things, like I've been infinitely more productive. This has changed the entire game for me and I'm able to get so much more done and I just don't feel as overwhelmed anymore. So if you're interested, then tag along. For the first app, I'm gonna recommend a calendar. Now, a calendar is one of the simplest things you can do to quickly get in shape in terms of your organizational structure. The calendar app that I'm using is called Calendars. Yeah, Creativity Award of the Century goes to them for that original name. <laughs> Absolute favorite feature about this app is the full month view that I get here, where it shows individual items and it's actually written out with text. Now, this is a lot more helpful for me compared to the Apple view that we get, where it's just literally dots on the calendar that I have to basically tap to see what's happening on that day. They've also made the app quite intuitive, so I can actually move around items. I can literally just move it to any other day. It also has smart language text, so I can go ahead and let's say I want to enter a meeting here, I can just literally just type in saying meeting at seven. He go ahead and save that and now meeting tonight at seven is booked. And also on the iPhone, you get tons of different widget options, which is great. I don't know why apps don't include more widget options. Okay, how many times has something like this happened to you guys where you're out and about and then suddenly you get like a business idea or some idea related to your work and you just need to put it down and it's bothering you. So you end up pulling out your phone and then you have to type it all down in Apple Notes. This happens so much to me. So I found an app to help me with this and it's been a game changer. Let me show you. The app is called Otter and there's a dead dedicated widget for it on my phone. All you gotta do is tap it and start talking. And not only will it record the voice note, but it'll also transcribe it. And that is what makes this so good. I can then copy paste my thoughts or business ideas or even review for a product directly into my script because it's already written out for me. And I found this to be the quickest method for me to get my thoughts down. Super cool, the power of AI, I tell you. Super scary, yet very, very impressive. Now for the next app, I've gotten into a bit of a habit of tracking my time. I do this so that I can track exactly where my time is going and the app that I use is called Toggle along with an add-on called Timery and it's as simple as me just getting to my desk and then swiping on my iPhone and tapping on the task at hand before I actually get started. The reason I personally like using it is because it gives me a lot of information about what my habits are, how much time I'm spending on each task. And I do this specifically relate to business. Obviously, I'm not time tracking like how much time I spend with the wife and stuff. Actually, I should do that. But at the end of the week, I can actually go back and see how much time I spent on each task. And if certain things are taking too long, I can look into outsourcing them or trying to see what I can do to improve my time on that. Now, this next app has quickly become a huge part of my life, which is why I'm super excited to say that they are also the sponsor of today's video, Notion. Let's go over to the computer and I'll show you why I love this app so much. Okay, so for the longest time, I've heard people rave about how good Notion is and how it's literally changed their lives for them. But I'll be honest, I was a little bit intimidated because whenever I tried it, it seemed a little complicated when I would see it. But I'm happy to report that I literally just spent one evening on it and I was able to figure out the whole thing for myself and it was quite intuitive. So let me quickly walk you through how I use it personally and how it's totally changed the way I track my business. Okay, so let me open up Notion here on my computer and we'll actually walk through some examples. So when you open up Notion over here on the left, you're gonna see multiple workspaces. Today, we're gonna be looking at this YouTube workspace here, as you can see by my profile picture. So over here, I have an entire Kanban board style that I've created and I'm able to track all of my projects all the way from idea generation where I get the actual idea to launch complete, which is where my video actually goes live. And I track everything in the middle as well. So from scripting, filming, editing, all the way to ready to launch. This whole process basically helps me keep track of my videos and make sure that everything is kind of moving along. Another really helpful aspect is I can jump into any one of these video ideas and I can see all the important or pertinent information related to it all in one place. So if I wanna take any quick notes or add any specific dates or links on this particular video, I can do that in here. Now this next section down here is where I track all of my sponsors and brand deals. And this is one of the coolest things about Notion because I'm able to link different databases together. So remember this video above that we were just looking at, which is also the video you're watching, I'm able to link that to this particular sponsor and it'll pull all of the important related information from that video directly into this table as well so that I can also keep track of it down here. Another cool thing that you can do with Notion once you have all of this information is I can change the type of view that I want. Let's say I change from this 
this Kanban view to this table view. Then I can even switch over to, let's say if I wanted a timeline view or a calendar view so that I can see when my videos are due. And there's so many other options as well. So if you wanna check out Notion for yourself, then I'll have a link in the description down below. Trust me, it's gonna be one of the best few minutes you're gonna spend in order to learn a system for yourself and for your life. I, I, it's been a game changer for me. Okay, for the next app, I basically like using a different app for to-do lists, whether it comes to my business and my personal to-do list. I just like keeping them a little bit different because sometimes you just don't wanna mix the two. Now, Things3 follows the philosophy of David Allen's famous productivity method and book called Getting Things Done. This basically basically focuses on a five-step strategy for you to effectively get things done. The first step is called capture. You basically need a way to put down all of your thoughts into one place, kind of like a collection tool. And that's exactly where the inbox section for Things 3 comes into play. This is where I put all of my thoughts and anything that comes to my mind to deal with later. Next, you need to clarify. Here is where you want to see if it's an actionable item. And do I need to work on it today? If so, let's move it there. And by clicking here, it'll move it into its own section called today. I can even add specific labels to see what it's related to or even add checklists within a checklist. The nerd in me is just rejoicing. The third step is called organize and with things three you can basically create different projects here and then I can throw in specific items into those which helps me with the fourth step which is called reflect. And lastly, of course, you wanna engage, which is basically actually checking it off and getting it done. So I really love how simple and intuitive they've made this app. And simply put, it's just a great user experience. So if you guys are looking for a personal to-do list, then I highly recommend Things 3. Okay, for this next step, if you're somebody who gets constantly bombarded with emails throughout your day, you might wanna pay attention to this one because it's completely changed the way I do email. It's got this beautifully designed minimal quick interface, and that's the first thing you'll notice right off the bat. And the way the entire UI is designed is that it encourages encourages you to basically use keyboard shortcuts to get through your inbox as quick as possible. So let's say for example, you wanna unsubscribe to a particular sender and trash all of their email, then you can do that with just a button and boom, Bob's your uncle. Now, once you send an email, let's say you notice an error, you can quickly unsend it. And at that point, it'll come back to you to edit. So let's say now you wanna send it at a later date, you can do that. Let's say the email you're sending is important and you wanna follow up on this, you can set a reminder right from that email. Also it has neat features, like if you type in a date or anything like that it'll literally pull up your calendar on the right side so you can see what your day looks like on that day but one of my favorite features hands down is that I can see exactly who's opened my email how many times at what time and on what device I mean that that is super powerful and admittedly a bit creepy but very very helpful I also like that the section here on the right side can be used to provide relevant information on the person who's actually sending the email like their LinkedIn or their social profile so all of this information becomes so important when I'm trying to decipher, is this actually Sony trying to reach out to me or, or is this some guy sitting in Albuquerque, New Mexico, trying to scam me out of uh, you know my entire YouTube channel. So all of this information becomes so super handy. Sometimes when I'm dealing with like people and they'll be like, oh, well, sorry, I completely missed your email. They're responding like a month late. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You opened my email like five times on this day and this day. Obviously I don't tell them, but like, I can see all of that information. The next time I email you, y'all better watch out. Yeah, you can't be lying to me. <laughs> Look, I gotta do an honorable mention here and I actually have to throw in Apple Notes. Now, Apple Notes has pulled a lot of weight throughout my life, so Apple Notes is great. I actually love it for, you know, just getting some quick thoughts. I'll open up Apple Notes, I'll put it in there. From there, I will disseminate that information into different applications. So if it's business related, it'll go into Notion. Personal related, I'll make some to-do lists or tasks into things. Or if it is an email or something like that, then I'll transfer it over to Superhuman. So Apple Notes, I think, it's it's worked really well. It's one of the most reliable for me in terms of continuity as well. So whether it goes from my iPhone to my Mac, to my iPad, to my Apple Watch, like I have access to it anywhere and everywhere. And I think Apple Notes is fantastic. So can't really knock on them. So those are some of the applications that I use in the day in the life of Tosif Hussain as a content creator, as somebody who is building this media company. If you like this video, then you guys might like this other video I did here on how to get the most out of your iPad or this other video here that YouTube thinks you might like. I'll see you guys there.